actually playing some good musical notes now. All right, guys, so I walk out of my house this morning like this without a toque on my head, and it's gray and cloudy and cold and mostly windy, like tornado gust winds. So I decide to turn around and walk back home to put a toque on my head, and the instant that I put a toque on my head and walk back outside, it's beautiful, bright, yellow sunshine, no longer any wind whatsoever, like not even a leaf blowing in a tree. The wind, the wind is picking up all of a sudden. Weird, eh? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go for a coffee at McDonald's. I do have a coffee maker at home, a Breville espresso machine, but I don't tend to make espresso a lot because I find that it gets coffee grinds all over the place, it's a real mess. And I do have a Kerrig machine at home and I find that the coffee is not all that great. It's obviously very practical, it doesn't make a mess, but the coffee's not that great. So I'm gonna go enjoy a quick cup of coffee at McDonald's and the thing I like about having coffee at McDonald's is that the refill is free. Ah. All right, so now I am going to go to the grocery store and get myself some food because it was Easter Sunday yesterday so everything was closed and I had forgotten to go to the grocery store before so I actually had an empty fridge and I had to eat out in those unhealthy places that are open 24 hours on Easter. So yeah, time to eat something healthy today like fruits and vegetables. All right guys, here I am in what I call the single male section where all the food is pre-made but at least it's pretty well balanced. You know, you get your vegetables, you get your rice, you get uh, your meats. But I really do like to just come and get this uh, pre-made stuff from the deli, throw it in the microwave. Uh, easy to make, no dishes to do. So a really good sign that summer is here, or at least spring, is that the Bixie stations are in place. The bikes are available for biking around Montreal. I think I'm just gonna sit here all day and play with this bell. Really? Do I have to listen to myself swallow? So here's the thing guys, I went to the grocery store to get myself some food. I went to the express checkout and it took so long. The cashier was so slow. It's like the person in front of me was buying a banana and that took about 15 minutes just to process that transaction. By the time it was my turn, she had to count her cash. And it's like, I went to the express checkout. The meaning of express? Fast. It means in a hurry. It means express. So basically I went to get two food items and I was there for 30 minutes in lineup and I just about had enough of that. I don't have time for that. So I left the grocery store without, I'm on my third coffee, but I guess some people have talent in certain areas. Some people have skill sets and maybe certain cashiers aren't made to work at the express checkout. You know, just saying. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I bought some LED lights at Ikea, as you can see, halfly strung up on the wall there to decorate my bedroom better and to have some nice lighting, but also to have a background for photos and videos. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and finally get these strung up properly, because that's looking pretty crappy. Okay, so clearly that's not working. I'm gonna have to go to Plan B. All right, clearly plan B did not work. So next, plan C. All right guys, I finally got it done. Plan number E. I think the solution is gonna be is that I'm going to need another strand. That's 48 LED lights. So I think I'm gonna need another strand because I don't have enough to work with. I ended up kind of making a W in the middle there. I'm not unhappy, I just think I need more. 
for now there's some duct tape holding things in place so I'll eventually have to put something more permanent. I'm getting really frustrated with duct tape today. Although they say it is the most practical thing on earth. And so let's go ahead and light it up. All right, guys, here it is, the switch. Three, two, one. Awesome. This will make a pretty nice effect, a pretty good background for photos and videos. And so I'm pretty happy to have put these LED lights up. Now, one of my friends did say that this kind of thing was for girls, that mostly only girls put up Christmas lights as decoration. You see it on Pinterest and everything. And so I was kind of reluctant to actually do this. I don't know, what do you think? Leave a comment down below whether you think this is only for girls. All right, that's a wrap, you guys, because... There ain't no coffee left in there. Nope. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more awesome content like this wherever the subscribe button is now on this end screen. And like or dislike this video depending on how you feel about it. Last but not least, leave a comment down below if you have anything to say or any questions. And as I always, always say, keep it real, keep it bling, rock and roll.